All right. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I read anything, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily. And a healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. <clears throat> now, Again, please excuse me. I'm trying to get over this cold or whatever the hell it is. So it is what it is. But I, I've, I've got to say this, uh, this this right here before I read anything. The elder, but not the Zakba, has an un, uncanny, and, and along with other brothers too, has an uncanny ability to do a video that I was going to do at least five hours before. <laughs> I guess that's just the spirit. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. So we can just go ahead. We're going to get we're going to get into it. We're going to hit it and quit it. Check it out. Man, sit your ass down. <laughs> sit your ass down. Do we need men? No. Do we need men? Honestly, no. <laughs> Do we need men? No. Why? Because they suck. <laughs> Do we need men? No. Do we need men? Honestly, no. <laughs> Do we need men? No. All right. So, hey, it is what it is. And there's the truth. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's the truth. And the truth is, just play your role. That's all you have to do is play your role. Now, here we are. We play in our role. Not even not even that. We, we you know, we're, uh, we're, uh, to the best of our ability. You know, we are, we're keeping the law, statutes and commandments to the best of our ability. And we're, and we're also teaching. And that's what we've been put here for. He said, I've made ye watch what? Watch men. Watch men, not watch women. Play your role. We have a head and our head is Yahweh Shai and his head is Yahweh. And that's that's the that's the whole point. OK. Now, right here, let's let's just go ahead and, and get on into Well, You know, as a matter of fact, that reminds me of a of a of a song. You know, uh, what did I say? We go hit it and quit it. Right. So that reminds me of uh, what's that? James Brown. Right. He made that song. This is a man's world. It, this is a man's world. And it is what it is. And it, it's yes, it has to be said. OK, it does. It has to be said because we are totally getting sick of this feminism garbage. It's, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. And it's been used it's, uh, uh, like the elder said, especially you, uh, you end doves, man. You so-called you so-called black women, man. And you just got to be honest. We have to be honest about these things, okay? Especially you, man. You have been used ever since Genesis to weaponize. Uh, uh, you've been used as a weapon. And you took a hook, line, and sinker, and you doubling and tripling and quadrupling down on it. So let's go ahead and read about it. 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 1. Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Hamashiach Yehoshua, the anointed. Do you see that? It's, these, are, these, these things are simple. Verse 3. We'll just, like I said, we're just going to hit it and quit it. This is a man's world, right? <laughs> that's what he said. That's what the scriptures say. That's, that's why you, you trust in the scriptures. Trust in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Even, even, she called her, uh, even Sarah called him Lord, right? We're going to read about it. Verse 3, I said, I'm just going to jump around here. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, Yahweh, Shai, and the head of the woman is the man. Did you see, Did you hear that? And the head of Yahweh Shai, the anointed, is Yahweh, the, uh, our power. Okay? Move on down. We're just going to jump. Like I said, hit it and quit it. Okay? There it is. Verse 8. 
For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. You know, and like the elder said, the damn chicken came first, had to. The, uh, the, uh, the moral, the, not the moral of the story, but the truth is this. You come from the seed of your father. It is written in numbers. It's written in a, in a whole lot of different places in these, uh, in these uh, parables. Okay? You are of your father. That's why it's there. That's why it's there. Let's move on up here. Hebrews 13 and verse 17. We're getting sick of the feminism. And, and it, when it, whenever, whenever you put a woman up over a man, it, it's, you, you're violating the laws. We just read about it. All right? And also, I mean, you can look at some of these like, uh, what was it like? Chicago? What is that? Uh, well, Larry, uh, Larry, <laughs> uh, Lori Lightfoot or whatever the hell, Leadfoot, whatever the hell her damn name is. You know, and, and you got when you put women in charge, man, everything gets all messed up. You know, and you can say the same about men, but the righteous are not in authority. That's why everything's all messed up. Now, see, what did Esau eat him do? Because he's in charge of the, uh, the whole earth right now. You know, uh, you know, it, the, the earth is it, given into the hand of the wicked. What did he do? The first thing he did, one of the first things he does is what? Put a woman in charge. Put a woman up over a man because he knows that's against the laws, man. You know, he knows that's against the statutes and commandments. Let's read this. Hebrews 13, verse 17. Obey them that have rule over you and submit yourselves for they watch for your souls. Do you hear that? As, as Do you hear that? They watch for your souls as they as they that must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For this is unprofitable for you. Do you see that? Obe obey them. OK. And this is, and again, I've said this before. I've said it several times. This is not a tyrannical type thing. It, it's, it's, you know, it's not an Ike Turner type thing. And, you know, and even that's even that's going off. Even that's going off. So maybe I shouldn't use that uh, analogy because Ike Turner really was uh, manipulated by the damn woman. Ain't that something? Come to find out she was the damn true demon. Hell, she abused him. OK, but see, that's how that's how it works here in Babylon. The narrative goes completely south. You know, it goes completely sideways. Why? Because the women because the, the women's liberation and all that uh, was that dude. Uh, what was his name? Aaron Russo told you about that. You know, he told you what that uh, what that uh, Rockefeller you know, he told you what that Rockefeller said, right? And, and that ties right into the MOTB, the C-HIP. All these things tie right into with each other. Ephesians 5, verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as, un as unto the Lord. These are simple scriptures. These are simple scriptures, man. But again, man, our women, the women of, uh, of Israel, that's northern and southern kingdom. Uh, let's just be honest. Okay? Our women, they won't listen, man. They won't listen. They're too tied up with this world and the little goodies and all the kind of you know, the comfort. But, but there's going, it's going to come a time, man, where you're going to get. See, my, my phone had a chime on that. It's going to come a time where you're going to get busted back down to where you're supposed to be. Just play your role. It's a beautiful role. Play it. This is crazy. Genesis 3 and verse 16. Unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. And thy in and thy conception in sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children. See that? The woman is of the man. The man is not of the woman. Okay? A help me, right? We're gonna go into it. Thou shalt bring forth in sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be towards thy be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Simple scriptures. Now, I'm not I'm not sugarcoating none of it. This has to be said. The elder killed me, though. He killed me when he said, I thought about naming this. Shut up. And make me a sandwich. <laughs> Woo. Oh, man. <coughs> Salakia. Damn. The cold's killing me. All right. First Corinthians. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious, man. Anyway, first Corinthians seven and verse 13. And the woman which have in a husband. That believe if not, if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. Do you see that? Let her not leave him. For the but for what? The, for the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. Uh oh. 
and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Uh oh. See, I put that in there because we all have to do our due diligence. Right. Do we not? All right. That's why I'm reading this. Elsewhere, your children un else were your children unclean, but now are they holy? Or are they separate? You see? So we both have a role. We have to play our roles. All right. You've been put on a pedestal for far too long. And you have if this is really a warning and you how about some y'all shy, man. You, you know, there's a whole bunch of scriptures I could go into about being trotted down. See, you know, seven women. It's all kinds of things I can go into. But, hey, it's this is a man's world. Now, what's, uh, again, again, I was going to go into this, too. It, uh, like I said, he's got an uncanny ability to do a doggone video before I do it. And a lot of brothers do that, actually. Like, we are one mind and one body, one spirit anyway. That's the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Okay? But see what happens when you see, you, 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 uh, what they call it, chivalry. You know, chivalry is dead. But you still have, you know, a man that will stop and you know, help a woman with a with a flat tire, which you can't change a tire. You know, who who the hell, you know, I'll take for instance, I'm a carpenter. Who the hell built in your house that you so comfortable in? Who's, who, who made those cars? Man made the trains. See? You see, you understand? And man makes money. It, it's all these things. Who, who's gonna who's gonna fix your car when it breaks down? But 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 they uh, they steadily say. And this is all women with that. They steadily say, my phone chimed on that one. Steadily talking about, we don't need a man. We don't need a man. Well, of course you do. Of course you do. This is crazy. Proverbs 31, verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? Mm -mm -mm. Again, you know, I'm just going to hit it and quit. I'll make it, make it real short. Sirach 36 and verse 24. He that getteth a wife getteth what? A possession. You want to look that word up? I think we should. He that getteth a wife getteth a possession. A what? A help like unto himself, a pillar of rest. A pillar of rest. Scripture also, also goes into uh, 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 a multitude of words to a quiet man. That's not being a pillar of rest. You get home from work or whatever, and all you hear, rah, 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 rah. we don't hear that. You're going off, man. Just hey, repent before it's too late. And to you, uh, to you, Aquaf, that are you know that are doing the right thing. Hey, Shalom to you. That's that's good. That's really, really, really good. You are in a, <laughs> you are, you are uh, uh, like a uh, uh, shining diamond in a, a field. What the hell the saying goes? Okay. Anyway, Shalom to you. All right. Let's let's look that up. Let's see. This is sort of impromptu. Let's look up that word possession. We'll, get, we'll probably get several different things. All right. Um, and let's, let's go. Possession. Bear with me. Here we go. H272. Ahuza, ah, ahuza, okay? What does that say? Possession, property, okay? Land, you know, as the scripture goes into it, shall not that land be greatly polluted? If, you know, if your wife goes out and, you know, and uh, uh, has gets another man, you know, or uh, uh, has intercourse with another man, that land, what is greatly polluted is possession, it's property. Possession by inheritance, okay? So, uh, you know, that's that's pretty interesting there. That's why we look up words here at Great Millstone. Let's see, where was I at? Um, let's go back. Uh, I had something else pulled up. Oh, a help meet. Okay. Oh, let's, well, let's go ahead and look that up then. Help meet. Let's go ahead and read the scripture. Genesis 2 and verse 18. And the Lord Yahweh, our power, said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. Do you see that? I will make him a help meet for him. What did the scripture say? The woman is not of the man. Salakia, the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. I said that backwards. Okay? Do you understand? These, these are simple scriptures. 
Let's go here. I'm going to make him uh, help me. Let's see. H5828. Okay. Help uh, Sakur. Help Sakur. One who helps, right? One who helps. The scripture said it is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a help meet. Okay? These things are simple. Very, very simple. And again, you know, I'm just going into it. Let's read this again. Sirach 36, verse 24. He that getteth a wife, getteth a possession, a help like unto himself, a pillar of rest, possession, property. Okay? Property. It is what it is. And you go to the etymology of the words. The word woman means what? Servant. Okay? As we are servants of, of who? Hamashiach Yahushai. That's, that is, that it is what it is. That's why, that's why the order was written right there in 1 Corinthians. It's an order to everything. We follow in order, and you, you're going to follow in order. It, it's just either you, either you follow in order now or you're going you gonna, to you gonna learn the hard damn way. Okay? Ephesians 5 verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Do you see this? Simple scriptures. Simple. First Peter 3 and verse 6. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as you do well and uh, so like you, do well and are not afraid with any amazement. Simple and plain. Simple and plain. What we got here? I just pulled this up just to pull it up. And I hope this is edifying. And to you sisters, don't click off. Just, just listen. Just, you know, just, just listen. Listen up. To whom it may concern, right? A new face of American uh, 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 boom, boom stick ownership, right? Okay. What do you have there? What do you have there? The so-called black woman, right? Judite woman. Everything you will, it, it is all Israel, but you would do everything but listen to the prophets and come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, even including witchcraft and all the rest of it. Okay, I don't even want to read that. Damn all that. You know, I, I read that too. Okay, so you know what? Real quick lesson through the spirit power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Like, I'm just like I said, I'm just going to leave it right there. It's an order, and if you don't fall up under that order, hey. You're going to fall by the wayside, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, of whom I learn from daily. Healthy shalom to their brothers. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, man. Mm. To the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. Also to the Aquath, right? That are sitting back and listening. You know, uh, patiently and, uh, and uh, uh, giving reference to their husbands. Matter of fact, here we are. First Corinthians 14, verse 35. And if they will learn anything, let their ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for a woman to speak in a church. And a lot of that's going on, too. All right. So, again, I was just going to make this real quick, straight to the point. You know, it's a man's world, right? <laughs> oh, boy. Every man, every chance you get, chant this place down and everything about it. DTA and Kwam Yashirala, Wa a Bible ball. Boom! Shalom, family.